Hi and welcome. Fun, fitness, wellness and inspiration. We're going to kick off with some wellness, we're going to go on to some fitness and then we're going to have lots more fun. Now life is full of ups and downs and we often don't appreciate the ups without having the downs. Today we're going to have some tips on staying positive and looking on the bright side with author and speaker Andrew Jobling. Now the fitness segment today is on the floor so you might want to make sure you clear a space so you don't bump into the furniture and we will show you how to safely get down and up from the floor. Then lastly, we catch up again with Melissa, the Prosecco Queen. And this week, we're going to look at how to maximize the Prosecco experience. How to make a spritz with Prosecco and what not to eat with Prosecco. Get ready to laugh, move and learn. Now we've been having some challenging times. It's been tough. Just how do you keep yourself going through the tough times? How do you keep your spirits up when you're going through the tough times? Well, Andrew today is going to be sharing with us some tips and strategies on how to look on the brighter side. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you, Carol. Wonderful to be here for this wellness zap and a very important topic today is how do we look on the bright side or how do we look through a different lens or a different filter from a different perspective because the reality is no matter what stage of life you're at no matter where you are there's going to be challenges every day is going to present challenges adversity problems and you can look at them as challenges, adversity or problems, or you can look at them as opportunity, or you can look at them as lessons, or you can look at them as some sort of positive. And it's all about the filter with which you look at things through. So you're going to get your little glasses and you're going to put on your positive filter glasses. Okay. And this is how you do it. It's very, very simple. When something happens in your life or with there's conflict with someone or something happens that's not ideal or not what you would choose and you feel some sort of negativity where it's anxiety or stress or fear or uncertainty, what that means, that's your body telling you that you've put on the wrong coloured glasses. Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with feeling fear, anxiety, stress, uncertainty what that is is your body again it's telling you hey we need to look at this from another angle we need to there's something not right there's something we need to be aware of but that's when we need to go okay how do i look at this from another perspective what can i be grateful for what lesson is there to learn and what opportunity might there be you know so let me give you an example. I go to the letterbox far too regularly and I pick, you know when you go to the letterbox and you take out a letter and you go, oh, I know this is bad. Have you ever had that feeling when you go, well, this is a bad letter? And in that letter is a speeding fine. Okay, now the first, what's the first reaction to a speeding fine? Probably anger. <laughs> Probably anger at yourself maybe for speeding, but certainly anger at it's not my fault, it's those police officers. You know, when you're only going five to 10 k's over the speed limit, you get angry because why are they chasing the real criminals? Why are they sending me a speeding fine? But that's going to lead you to an anger or an anxiety. Okay, so you stop and go, okay, well, I'm feeling anxiety. What am I thinking about? What's my perspective? I'm capturing that emotion. And now I'm going to look at it. And now I'm going to ask myself, so what's positive here? What's the good here? Or what can I be grateful for? Well, number one, I'm grateful I'm alive. Number two, I'm grateful that there are police out there that are enforcing the law. Number three, I'm grateful that I can pay it. And maybe there's a lesson. And that lesson is maybe I need to slow down. So all of a sudden, I've looked at the situation which has caused some anxiety and stress and seemingly negativity, 
and I've been able to turn it into a positive. You know, if you are in a relationship, as as many of us are, and you have a partner that might be nagging or arguing or trying to get you to do something you don't want to do, you can get aggravated. Or you can be grateful they care enough to say something. You know, if you lose a job, you can get angry about it or you can be grateful that there's probably another better job out there. So my message is very simple. It's easy to look on the bright side if you put the right glasses on, put your perspective glasses on. Whenever you feel any sort of negativity, stress, anxiety, fear, anything, that's an indication that you look, you've got the wrong glasses on. Take those ones off, put on your positive glasses, look for the opportunity, look for the lesson and look for the thing there is to be grateful for. And if you do that, I guarantee you, you're going to have a far better experience of life. You're going to get better results. You're going to be a nicer person to be around and you're going to be a far, far healthier person. So Carol, tell us a little bit about how you deal with, you know, when some sort of adversity strikes. Well, you know, there's that saying that one door closes, another one opens. I mean, it gets used over and over again, but Having that perspective, you think, oh, that hasn't worked out. Well, I'm going to move on. There must be other opportunities. And focusing on the new opportunities. Try not to dwell on the past, but focusing on the new opportunities. So that concept in your head, too, of just closing the door. So close the door on it, move on. So just close the door, put it aside, and move on. So that's basically one of the things that I do. <laughs> So, Andrew, that was fantastic. So, everybody out there, keep your spirits up. Keep looking on the positive side. I'm sure you've got some great tips there now. So, we're in this together. And thanks for watching the Wellness App. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks, Carol. Thanks for watching our TV show. Be sure to hit subscribe and then you'll never miss an episode. Jump on Facebook, join our group, get in on the fun, fitness, wellness and inspiration. I'm Carol, over 50, so what? <laughs>